structured approach to the seriously ill child. A seriously ill child is one whose vitals are compromised. And a structured approach in determining the cause and subsequent successful management of the child is necessary. Rapid assessment and agent intervention are the major requirements in the approach. Triaging soon after arrival in hospital for emergency signs um, like severe respiratory distress or coma and priority signs like high temperature, restlessness or severe pain is very important. Presentations of serious illness may be classified under the following and problem areas to so airway or breathing, cardiac, shock, and neurological disability. A structured approach includes um, primary assessment, resuscitation, secondary assessment, emergency treatment, definitive care. Let's look at airway or breathing problems. Our causes are severe pneumonia, um, bronchiolitis, upper airway obstruction or stridor and others signs and symptoms um, depend on the condition let's look at the approach the physical assessment can the child speak this indicates um, airway potency can the infant cry indicates airway potency so adequate um, adequacy of breathing assessed by resection respiratory rates granting inspiratory or expiratory noises flaring of the alan ac as the effectiveness of breathing is assessed by breath sounds chest expansion and abdominal is um percussion or abdominal excursion so final effects of inadequate respiration are um, determined from the heart rate skin color and mental status pulse oximetry desirable and a saturation of less than 90 percent while breathing air or less than 95 percent while breathing oxygen is very low high flow oxygen should be given to all children with respiratory difficulty or hypoxia in a child with inadequate um, ventilation, bag valve max oxygenation or intubation may be required. Investigations are chest x-ray, arterial blood gas, peak flow, if um, asthma is a possibility. So management, so if a chin lift or jaw trust can secure airway then do so otherwise consider intubation or respiratory if bub um, bubbling noises are heard um, airway full of secretions and suction is required also harsh stridor with back and cough and severe respiratory distress more likely to be upper airway obstruction Nebulize with adrenaline 5 milliliters of 1 is 2000 in oxygen and if symptoms had a sudden onset and there is history of inhalation you consider laryngeal foreign body you call an ENT um, surgeon immediately children with a history of asthma and respiratory distress Required nebulized optimal 2.5 milligrams or 5 milligrams if 7 years plus and oxygen. So let's look at circulation or cardiovascular issues. So when normal capillary fill time is more than 2 seconds, then there is a, there is no problem with cardiac um, output. Or cardiac arrest predominantly occurs secondary to hypoxia or hypovolemia. Primary myocardial disease is rare. Causes are heart failure, arrhythmias, and heart rhythm abnormalities. An approach primary assessment with regard to circulation, heart rate, pulse volume, capillary refill, blood pressure. Look for tachycardia, bradycardia, abdominal um, pulse volume, hypertension or hypertension, hepatomegaly, members, and peripheral edema. You check the effects of circulatory inadequacy on Adam organs by checking the respiratory rate and um, skin appearance and temperature also mental status and urine um, urinary outputs investigations are urea electrolytes um, chest x-ray ecg full blood count blood culture 
management you address airways and breathing before commencing external cardiac um, massage also if, if cardiac output is not responding to cpr consider the adequacy of airway and breathing support shock or inadequate circulation let's look at this so the causes are severe gastroenteritis diarrhea and cardiac um, disease so the management resuscitation every child in shock should have oxygen um, to a high flow rate venous or intraosseous access should be obtained and an infusion of normal saline at 20 milliliters per kilogram given in drowsiness with um, sign respirations you check blood sugar and um, acid base balance it treats diabetic ketoacidosis with iv normal saline and insulin also in an unconscious child with pinpoint refills you consider opiate poisoning try nalozone gastrointestinal usually presents with shock from fluid loss the symptoms include vomiting abdominal pain or bloody stools and the signs may include abdominal um, tenderness or a mass consider surgical intervention we give boluses of fluid to shocked children if um, first one is not effective consider iv antibiotics in shocked children with no obvious fluid um, fluid loss so next let's look at neurological disability the causes are status epilepticus the continuous seizures without regaining consciousness also meningitis encephalitis strokes in single cell disease and cerebral mal malaria the signs that are usually elicited are altered conscious level um, convulsions altered pupil size and reactivity abnormal posture meningism um, papilledema and hypertension and investigations are urine electrolytes blood sugar blood culture and management um, if low blood sugar you give five milliliters per kilogram of 10 percent dextrose by rapid infusion prolonged fits you give rectal diazepam and if convulsions persist you begin status epilepticus protocol using phenobarbitone fentoin and um, midazolam iv in that order i give evidence of raised intracranial pressure you give manitol in a child with depressed um, conscious level and convulsions you consider meningitis you give cefotazine a cyclovir um, systemic causes the causes are poisoning, ingestion of kerosene, corrosives, pesticides, paracetamol. It could be hypokalemia, hypoglycemia. You think of severe malaria and hypoglycemia, and also um, diabetic ketoacidosis and geodema. The symptoms are rash, um, uticarial rash, fever, abdominal pain, vomiting, excessive thirst, or excessive drinking. Signs that are usually elicited are severe dehydration, deep and rapid respiration, smell of ketones in breath, pinpoint pupils, large pupils, tachypnea, sign respirations, hypothermia and hypothermia main treatment objectives depend um, on the cause so if diagnostic clues point to poisoning an emergency treatment and emergency treatment of um, specific poisons become um, paramount if history and signs point to diabetic ketoacidosis the normal saline is the initial fluid to start together with insulin non pharmacological treatment so reassure or console the patient teamwork is required pharmacological treatments oxygen therapy first line treatment um seriously ill children may need supplemental oxygen convulsing child give lorazepam or diazepam or phenobarbitone or phenytoin or midazolam in that order and um, suspected meningitis we give cefotazine suspected group um, nebulized adrenaline or dexamethasone or prednisolone and suspected asthma if subtamol protropion bromide hydrocortisone prednisolone and um, amniophilin it's a referral criteria you refer the seriously ill child to the appropriate specialist